Skip. That was the last of our escorts. Damn it. We got us, I got those guns. It's no use, Skip. I didn't start this fight, but I'm down well gonna finish it. Rapid continuing fire at shoreline. Now! Rapid continuous fire to the shoreline. Repeat rapid continuous fire to the shoreline. Let's get their asses. Come on, Captain. Come on. Destroyer, Bill. You've got to turn around. Get us hell out of here, Helmsman. Aye, aye, sir. Pick it up, boys. I want to finish this detail before Christmas. I don't see you helping. Hey, you're working like you play chess, Moose. Let's pick it up. Think we're taking this baby all the way to Berlin? That's not how depth charges work, Bauer. All right, ladies. You got five minutes. Let's pick it up. Couple of dents I could use hammering. Otherwise, she held up okay. This isn't what I had in mind. Reddit Credit, didn't sign up to get shot at. Trout to ruin everything. This isn't the Navy. We're merchant marine. Oh, you think the Germans would grant us a deferment? Are those guard boys topside? They're the ones trained for this nonsense. I'm just here to keep this baby afloat. Look, it's all a matter of luck. When was the last time you were back home in Novell? Let's see. 1941? Well, I've been home since then. And I'll tell you. You wouldn't like it. You liar. You got the prettiest little family I've ever seen. That's what I'm saying. I am fabulously lucky. You, on the other hand, not so much. Look, it's like poker. Out here, you're a respected sailor with the full house. Back home, you maybe got a pair of sixes. At sea, you ain't ever getting these aces, kid. Are you trying to make me feel better? Not really. Mission accomplished, Chief. Hey, I'm always here for you. I'm like the ship therapist. I'm gonna start charging you guys. I heard things got a little hairy out there. How's things on a lot in B. Evans? Our last escrow was destroyed and we barely escaped alive. But the ship took the brunt of it. We're leaking oil like a sieve and we'll be vulnerable until we can repair it. I misjudged the situation, sir. Oh, bullshit. The Jerry's have that entire coastline armed to the teeth. They've been interrupting our movements in that sector for weeks. It's only a matter of time until you came upon a coastal battery. Now listen, Snow, I know you had a bit of bad luck back in Tunisia, but... I wasn't cut out for convoy, sir. I was trained to fight. Yeah, well, those fighting instincts of yours almost cost a thousand men their lives. I take full responsibility for my actions, sir. I alone am to blame. That's why I'm gonna give you a shot of redemption. 
Landing troops on Salerno Beach in less than 48 hours. The invasion of Europe? Commander. This is Major General Bradley. General. Listen, we're looking to stick it to Hitler by taking out his buddy Mussolini. That sound good to you? Great, sir. Great. You might have noticed the coast around Salerno is heavily armed with a battery of SS-88s. It's the toughest gun in their army. Yes, sir. We're sending in two PT boats with commandos to take out those guns. We're going to need your men to provide artillery support as needed. The Lawton B. Evans, General? That's right. The Krauts are looking to get a foothold back in Italy. Fact is, your little cargo ship is the most powerful vessel that we have in that sector. I won't let you down, General. You're damn right you won't. This is going to be the single most important mission that you and your men on the SS Evans have ever conducted. Thousands of lives depend on it. Understood, sir. You got 36 hours to get in there, knock out all the enemy vessels before daybreak, or the invasion of Salerno will be in jeopardy. Understood? Yes, sir. Better. Listen, Lieutenant. I know this is a dangerous mission, but... I am honored to be chosen for this duty, sir. All I can think about is getting back in the fight. <laughs> well, I guess we wouldn't want it any other way, would we? Arms out. 0600, we're out of here. Italy. Cooking up some eggs and spam. <laughs> Mr. Ford, I've been looking for you. Yeah, what do you got? Well, you know how we were out of bacon. You got bacon. I got something better than bacon. I got chorizo. <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> You're gonna love it. You know, I don't care about protein. You know what I want? Mira, I know what you want. <laughs> I see you come through. <laughs> what do I owe you? Hey, just your friendship, Holmes. Oh. And 10 bucks. Deal. <laughs> hey, Roscoe, you're going to shave that mustache. When Hitler shaves his. <laughs> hey, come get your eggs. Come on, Lucy. Before Snyder does some more sit ups. <laughs> Y'all quit it. You're giving me performance anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you sure you want to do that? Yeah, why not? Because. No, no, go ahead. What? Nothing. Just tell me what I'm doing wrong. Okay, you're going to do it anyway. No, no, you're doing great. Don't listen to me. You sure? Gramas. And the funny thing about chess is, if you do the best move too early, it's a wasted move. That's right. You gotta save the piece with the most potential, which in this case is the queen. So you've exhausted all other options. Come on, who's this year? <laughs> Shirt on, you're already making me feel like crap. <laughs> I gotta stop betting on you, Bruce. Peanut butter for Peanut butter. Come on. Fishy, fishy, come on. Bauer. You think you're gonna catch a German U boat with this thing? That made quite the trophy. Inside, I got Barnes calling for you. Yeah, I would.
Commander. And support. Yes, sir. I have a very important and rather unique request. I would very much appreciate that you keep it between the two of us. Of course, sir. I want you to keep an eye on our friend, Lieutenant Snow. I don't understand, Commander. I know Snow is a great fighter. I've known that ever since he and I met on the battlefield back in Tunisia. Toughest in the Navy, sir. But this is not the Navy, Ed, sir. This is the Merchant Marine. You've got a fine, capable crew. But you and I both know that those boys have neither the discipline or the training to go against those Germans on their own. And that's just the fight that he's looking for, sir. Which is exactly why I need you to make sure that he does not jump out of his friggin' boots at the first smell of combat. I'd rather not challenge the lieutenant in front of the men, sir. I'm not asking you to challenge him. Just be straight with him, Ford. He'll listen to you. If there's any problem, I've got your back on this. Understood. Thank you, sir. Now, you'll be off the shore of Salerno in 34 hours. That gives you 12 hours until the invasion fleet arrives. We cannot allow any diversions to get in the way of landing on Italy. Are we clear on this? Understood. I will do my best, sir. And that's all I ask. In and out, sir. Skip. I heard says by tomorrow visibility should be close to nil. I heard. Well, you think that's going to interfere with us taking out those 88s? They aren't going to call it the invasion just because it's foggy. Fancy a snort. Only if you can figure out a way to get this bucket of the Italian coast without it falling apart. You know what the goddamn mercy of this war, Bill. Spare me. You've seen the battle maps. All of us are just pins on a piece of paper the admirals stick in there. At the end of the day, both of us are just trying to survive and not be that pin thrown in the trash. I lost my buddy because I failed to do my job. Doug died because he was picked off by a German U-boat. I abandoned my convoy chasing shadows, pal. You saw a chance. You had an opportunity to take out a pack of German U-boats. If I were in your position, I'd done the same thing. Excuse me, Mr. Snow? Yeah. I got a reading a mile east. What do you figure? It's pretty big. Could be a U-boat. Thanks, Irish. We steer clear north a couple miles, we should avoid it. Let's bag it. Jesus, Bill, it's a U-boat. We should steer clear. This is my command, damn it. If we can catch that sub on the surface, we can take her out. I say, let's do it. Yes, sir. Tell the men to man the guns, prepare the depth charges. The moon's not gonna last for a couple hours. The bastards will never see us coming. All right, Skip. General Quarters, General Quarters, all men man your battle stations. General Quarters, General Quarters, all men man your battle stations. General Quarters, General Quarters, all men man your battle stations. General Quarters, General Quarters, all men man your battle stations. General Quarters, guys. General Quarters. How's you looking, Irish? I think we got the drop on him, Lieutenant. Should be 2 o'clock, 800 yards out. Say it, he should have won MVP is all! Well, he didn't, so you know who cares? Does that matter? Do you always blindly accept the judgment of your betters? That and the Yankees won the World Series while the Red Sox finished, what, 20 games back? And that's Ted Williams' fault? Well, it's MVP, most valuable player. How uh, valuable can Ted Williams be if the Red Sox can't win the pennant? I'm disgusted, my friend, that you should be so cavalier to the injustice delivered by the hands of the Baseball Writers Association of America. I think Robert Feller should have won. 
What? He had more strikeouts. Feller, you're an idiot. Don't you have work to do? Come on, I'm not even half cocked. Let's get loaded. Please load, Jeffrey's loading. I can confirm that. You about 2 o'clock. Should we blast him with a five inch? Not yet. I want to get a little closer. Is that really necessary? If you want a confirmed hit, it is. I want to sink that bastard. Yeah, but the closer we get to them, the better chance the Germans are going to see us. And those U boats have 88 millimeters, and I've had a taste of one, and I'm not really up for another one. Or we can miss and end up with nothing. We've got the best gunners in the Mediterranean. They can hit an ice cream truck from this distance. If you don't like it, get your own command. We're going in. Take her slow ahead. Aye, aye, slow ahead. Three hundred yards, Skipper. I need twelve degrees to starboard. Twelve degrees to starboard. Two hundred yards, Skipper. Five inch lock and load. Five inch lock and load. Grover, I'm lined up and I'm ready to kill him. Snow, we're locked and loaded. I'm target. Fire when ready. Five inch fire. Repeat, fire and fire! Fire at will! Fire up! He's out of sight. Yeah, give me this. He is not getting away. Prepare depth charge to starboard. Aye, aye. Prepare depth charge to starboard. Depth charge, Jeffries. Depth Hold charge. It. Get the lead out, Jeffries. Come on. Release depth charges. Release depth charges. <laughs> Any sign of that sub? Not on the surface, Skip. Another 200 yards should do it. We need to disengage. Not a chance. Without the element of surprise, the Liberty ship is not gonna do any good against a U-boat. We've got more guns, we've got bigger guns. Simple. It's not gonna matter if we can't see the enemy. Do I need to remind you who's commanding this ship, Ensign? No, sir. Dead slow ahead. Aye, aye, dead slow ahead. Slow ahead! I knew it! Where is it? Anyone got eyes on it? No, oh, sir. Come on, baby, come on. Hell, that sub could be anywhere. He's beneath us. You poach can't go fast and three knots submerged. If we can't knock him out. At least you give me a wake up call. Drop depth charges. Depth charges port side. Depth charges port side. Repeat depth charges port side. Drop 
Let's get some distance. Flank speed, 10 degrees right. All right, all right, flank speed, 10 degrees right. Hard left, we're turning around. All right, all right, hard left. There, there he is, I see him. Hey, Skip, I got two crowds about to man that deck gun. Take him out, you want me to hold your hand? Yes, sir. We've got maybe 30 seconds before they unload those guns. Get closer. Await orders. But, sir. What I say about those deck guns, Bauer? I'm getting my bearings. Get your bearings faster. Christ, Jeffrey's a shot! Come on, buddy. Come on, we got you, kid. It's gonna be all right. Come on now, you better breathe. You ain't got permission to die. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. No! That's it. That does it. Who wants to sink a cross submarine? I never thought you'd ask. This ends right here and now. Collective fire, continuous. Collective fire, continuous. Repeat. Kill him! Fire it will! Preparing to fire! Firing! Looks like Bauer got his U-boat after all. Good work, man. Great work. Skip. What is it? Jeffries is dead. Damn it. Donald Jeffries sign up for this. None of you men did. A merchant ship is built to move supplies, not to go head to head with enemy U-boats and destroyers. But that's what we've been assigned to do. No, Jeffries didn't volunteer for this kind of work, but when called to duty, he performed valiantly. He did what he had to when he had to do it without concern for his own safety. He wanted nothing more than to get off this bucket so he could head home and take over the family farm. But he didn't get that chance. He's not going to get to go home because he got killed doing his job, his job as an American. The best we can do going forward is to respect his sacrifice by doing our job so we can all get out of this mess and get back to our families where we belong. Commander Barnes? I understand that you ran into some action. Yes, sir. We lost a man in a firefight with a U-boat, sir. Jesus. This is exactly what I did not want to happen. It couldn't be avoided, Commander. Are you telling me there was nowhere else in the entire ocean for you to go except head-to-head -head with a German U-boat? It was us or them, sir. Lieutenant Snow saw an opportunity and he took it. There was no opportunity. You have a mission. This is Snow being Snow. I know you're going to need his fighting spirit when you reach that coast. But not one damn minute before. Now, I want you to tell me. Between the two of us, can you keep Lieutenant Snow on course? I would do everything short of mutiny to keep the Lieutenant on target, sir. 
But, sir? But what, Ensign? We're sitting ducks out here, and we both know the men are not combat ready. They got a lot of heart, but... What are you driving at, Ford? Is there really no help in the area for us, Commander? Every damn vessel is accounted for, and you know that. Any escort would be much appreciated, sir. You do your part and make sure Snow clears that beach, and I'll see if I can find someone to divert. Thank you, sir. Come in. So some nice words you said out there. Well, the kid was 19 years old. How do you sum up a man's life when he never got to live one? We wouldn't be bearing him if you didn't take on that sop. What's that supposed to mean? We're burying a man at sea because you're acting like you have something to prove. We had a chance to sink a U-boat. I'm not going to back down from that responsibility. That's my job. Not on this mission. With all due respect, sir, your recklessness has caused a young man to lose his life when we should be on our way to Italy to clear that coast out for our boys invading so they didn't get cut to shreds by the most dangerous gun the Germans have. A PT boat was lost, an entire crew killed because I didn't have the guts to take action. I'm not going to make that mistake again. They were killed because of your recklessness. Jeffries is killed because you didn't listen to your crew. We're in a war. You told me yourself you cannot choose your battle. You said that. Well, I was mistaken. Sometimes you can't make a choice and you made the wrong choice. Like, it could happen to any one of us. Like, just stop worrying about your guts. You are the toughest man I know. Are you finished? I make no promises. Sir, I have General Bradley on the radio. Bradley? Bradley. <sighs> Don't let that go to your head. Lieutenant, good news. The Italians are out of the war. Italy surrendered? That's right. Ike announced it 10 minutes ago. We always knew the Italians were paper tigers. They quit the minute we took Sicily, which means those 88s are going to be manned by crack Nazi troops. And they never face the US Navy, sir. It's going to be one hell of a fight, but I'm counting on you to take that beach. I got the best crew in the U.S. Navy. So I've heard. Commander, anything you'd like to add? Well, Snow, you can expect the Germans to take over naval operations as well. The Nazis don't miss a beat, do they, sir? No, they do not. You're going to be faced with German destroyers and F-lighters up and down that coast. These boys don't play nice. Neither do we, sir. Neither do we. Like you want to win some money. Yeah, he doesn't want to win. He's going to lose. No, you give it right here. Put it on the table. Put it on the table. Hey, how about not cheating this time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I heard about you. Yeah, you know exactly what you're doing. Yeah, you're the guy. No. Three aces. Yeah, I don't know why you're doing it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, boys. With all this money I'm about to win, I'm going to get a tattoo of my girl. Oh, yeah. Raleigh all over there. Power. Do me love special. Grover, you got that? Yeah, I got it. Thanks, pal. Oh, you gotta try this. This is the best meatloaf in the world. <laughs> That's rough. I don't know what my mom would do if I got a tattoo. Ah, you know what? Everyone you get will desensitize her. I don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love Cookie's special meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Best meal of the month. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could eat a bear. Oh. Hey, Cookie. You want in on this game or what? I need someone with some balls and isn't afraid to lose some money. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta get back in the kitchen and uh, make another special meatloaf. <clears throat> Take a little bite. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, make sure you get a big one so yeah, not all yeah, 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 the whole thing. Well, that's real good, huh? Yeah, what do you think about that? That's pretty, that's pretty tasty, isn't it? What's wrong? <coughs> no, that's not hot. Keep going. Oh, we're not hot. Oh, yeah? Really? Give me the water. No, 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 no. Give me the water. Come on, come to the 202. What are you doing? What the hell, Cookie? You want to go with the meal? A little less spice on my side. Hey, that's the 
way we do it in Texas, okay? Put a little hair on your nuts. Six straight games isn't a big deal. It's a huge deal, but it's trivia. Come on, if somebody puts milk bottles on their heads and balances them, it's impressive. But it don't mean they should be present. <laughs> that is the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Milk bottles, DiMaggio is the greatest center fielder of all time. But did he bat 400? I hear the Braves are doing good this year. That's just, what? I'm beginning to think you don't know what you're talking about. Get this guy out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. You're not 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 here. All right, come on. All right, we're going to finish this. Who wants to finish this? Yeah, yeah, I'll take a bite. Just leave it right here. Leave it right here on the table. Leave it right here on the table. All right, let's go. Let's go. Counterintelligence is now reporting increased German naval activity off Salerno. Looks like Hitler wants to hold on to Italy as long as he can. Yeah. An air reconnaissance just spotted what looks like an enemy destroyer opposite the coastal artillery unit. I hope Snow and his cowboys are ready. They'll be ready, sir. Think they can handle a crowd destroyer with five-inch guns? Snow's a salty son of a bitch, sir. If anyone can, it's him. Better hear it. Hey! A roof. Now that's major home improvement. And that's what I've been trying to tell her. Yeah. Definitely something she shouldn't try on her own. It leaks a little, I get it. But you know, put a bucket down or something until I get back. I don't want to be ripped off because some jerk knows I'm overseas. Hey, a guy could take advantage. Yeah, exactly. A single woman at home, by herself, helpless. Come on. Happens all the time. Wait, what? What do you mean? No. Or love. She wouldn't do that, right? She wouldn't, she wouldn't do that. Irish to the bridge. Irish you to the go. bridge. You better go. Don't try to change the subject. I'm, I'm coming right back. Hey, you thinking about swimming to Italy? <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get into another firefight again. Well, that wasn't the plan, but here we are, pal. Oh, I've been in one war, and that's one too many. I feel the same way if I served on Jacob Jones. <sighs> wow. I was so proud to be man in a four-incher on a world-class destroyer. <laughs> I was good, too. Boy, I was real good. So I heard, Kirk. <laughs> You know what, after we got torpedoed, the Jacob Jones went down so fast, he didn't even send out a distress call. Mm. 60 men, 60 men lost in eight minutes. I swore I'd never be on a combat ship again. Well, if it helps, if it's any consolation at all, you are the best cook in the U.S. Navy. <laughs> Damn right. I take care of my men. <laughs> yeah, there's one thing I've learned in this man's Navy is that everybody's got their own part to play. From the galley to the head and all the assholes in between. It takes all of us to make a Navy ship. Even a broken down Liberty ship like the Lot and B. Evans. <laughs> you know what? I better get back to the kitchen. Okay. You know what? Why can't we have any tequila on this boat? Because we're in Europe. If we go to war with Acapulco, I will give you some food. <laughs> Acapulco, here we go. Keep an eye out for any vessel that might try to kill us in this mess. As always, Skip. Yeah, watch out for some giant squid while you're at it. Definitely. That's the last thing we need. Not too far from the coast, are we? Just out of our radar. So about 30 miles. You know, you got a hell of a crew here. Best in the Navy. And that's not just something I tell people.
whoa, 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 whoa. You can't do that. Why not? It's not a move. It's not a just move. <laughs> <laughs> but it makes sense. That's, that's where I want my piece to go, so I put it there. Knights don't move like that. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Those are the rules. Oh, can, a, can a pawn do that? Yeah, of course. Well, then why not the horse guy? <laughs> We've been over this. Knights do this L shape thing. Oh. Aren't knights more valuable than pawns? Yeah. So then why can't they move like pawns? Look, I don't know. <laughs> Philosophy <laughs> Come on. Knights can't do the thing you're trying to do. They only move in this L shape way, like we talked about. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what? What was that? What's happening? Nothing. Nothing. Did, did I just Seriously? Win? Did I win? You better tell me. I won, didn't I? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, you you win, 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 doesn't count. General quarters, general quarters, all men man your battle stations. General quarters! Wow, we gotta destroy the area, general quarters. If I catch one, I'll let you know. Man your post, sailor. <laughs> Get us lined up, Grover. Lined up, I guess you're lined up. All right, all, all right, right. All right, we're in line, we're in line. You sure it's that destroyer? I don't know, but it's big. Mm. Should we reverse course? Now, let's pause a while and see what that thing is and where it's headed. Dead slow ahead. Hi, right, sir. Dead slow ahead. Power, general quarters. I know, but, but sir, we're headlogging a destroyer, sailor. Get the lead out. I got something, sir. I don't know what it is, but it's got to be pretty big. Whoa, why didn't you tell me? Here, let me reel it in. You go press your gun. Thank you, sir. You, yeah. you have no idea how much this means to me. Yeah, I got it. It hates me to lose your fish. Thank you, sir. No! We're in a war, sailor. You go man that gun or I throw you in the drink. Did you see it? Oh, God bless it. I don't hear anything. Oh, man. I can't believe that we're looking for a destroyer instead of delivering supplies. If only my old man could see me now. I hear nothing. Do you? Not a damn thing. You see anything, Grover? No, I don't see nothing, Tony. That's what scares me. I know we got a destroyer out there. I just can't see it. We'll stand an operating procedure for peace suit. What I'm doing, moving as little as possible. Any update on that ship? It's close, sir. Real close. Mm -hmm. uh, lucky for us, crowd radar's as bad as ours. We also need to make sure we don't drift too close to the shoreline in range of those 88s. Back in Annapolis, they don't tell you what to do if you can't see or hear anything. Well, they pay you the big bucks, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I expect more than 150 bucks a week. <laughs> See anything? No. I got nothing! There's something on the radar. You guys hear that? Yeah, I still hear it. It's getting closer. 
Destroyer coming right at us. 30 degrees to port. 30 degrees to port. It's coming right towards us. Hard right rudder. Hard right rudder. Prepare depth charges. Full of stern. Fire and will, fire and will. Full of stern. Depth charge starboard. Now. Depth charge starboard now. Fire, fire. Fire, boys. Fire, fire. Come on. Did we get him? We got men on the shore! Crowd on the shore! Yeah. We found those guns you're looking for. They're gonna tear us to shreds. You think I don't know that? Take cover! Take cover! Oh, we got shots coming from that coastal battery! I want to see heavy fire directed to that beach. Bombardment! Fire all gun! That portal, you're gonna take a bullet. My time will come when it comes. They better be avoiding those U boats. They better. It wasn't good, it sounded like the engine room. Clevenger, where you hit? I fell toward through the side! Boiler one's down! And boiler two is losing pressure fast! Can you get it patched up? I can try! I can try and patch it, but what about getting to Salerno? I'll send some in to work the pumps. I'm fine! It's fine! I'm fine, Pony! Uh, fuck, it's nothing, all right? Let's see how uh, nothing it is. Ah, it hurts! Oh, how's that uh, feel? It hurts! And there? It still hurts! Uh, <laughs> Sounds like a ceasefire. Maybe we're out of range. Oh, God, what are you trying to kill me? I'm not trying to kill you. I'm just trying to make sure you're not dying. Listen, you can't say nothing to no one. I don't want to get sent back to Sicily. I'm fine. Well, maybe I want you to go back to Sicily. Maybe I'll shove my boot up your ass. Wait a second. You ain't even been shot. You got shot in the boot. Well, it still hurts. Yeah, it hurts because you're a wuss. No, Come on, let's get back in the fight. fight. Here we go. Chief! Chief! No, no. Hey, we got help. We got help coming. We got help coming, so just hold on. Uh, I don't think that's gonna be necessary. What are you talking about? Clint. No, I just got a whole pressure Listen, right here. Would you just shut up for a second? Clint, stop! Clint, stop. When you get back to San Fran, I want you to tell him and the girls that I love him. And then I'll see him on the other side. I will, buddy. You do that for me. Yes, of course. You're the best friend I got. <laughs> oh, no, 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 please, please. <laughs> The 
boys are stemming the bleeding. We're powerless for another hour, but we'll stay afloat if we don't take another hit like that. What should we do? We'll never make it out of here without full power. Maybe we don't have to. What? Cease fire. Cease fire. Cease fire, we're going to be sitting ducks. Or maybe not. What if they think they already sunk us? Have the boys throw everything we don't need overboard. Pots, pans, clothes, pin-up girls, and a bunch of our cargo. I don't care what it is. The tide's heading in. Everything we throw overboard to make it look like we've sunk. Come on, get to work. Go, 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 go. I don't care what it is. We got crowds firing us from all sides. But it's not essential to war effort. I want to throw it in the briny deep. You understand? What if it's a nice piece of jewelry? I toss it. Even if it's real small? No, don't worry about it. OK, so if it's a big gold necklace, for example, we should throw that in the ocean. Did you rob a pirate ship, Bauer? Well, a small ring. Shut the hell up, Bauer. I want all this stuff off the boat in the ocean. So long, Brad. You ever figure what happens if this don't get discovered by the Germans? Long averages, Moose. Maybe they'll find this stuff, maybe they won't. But are they smoke stuff? Ideally. See, I think about the ancient Egyptians. They were always hiding things. They couldn't have known whether we'd find them or we wouldn't. What's your point? Oh, nothing. Just wondering if everything isn't pointless. Wow. We're on a junk detail and you're getting existential on me? Let's get out. Of here. Are we betting down? If they can't fire to where it's there, it's head towards shore. Let's hope it satisfies our German friends. Just unwarranted is all I'm saying. Uh-huh. Uh, hand me the Phillips. That fishing pole survived Casablanca, Algiers, Tunisia, uh, Mezina. Did you catch anything? What? You ever actually catch anything? So what if I didn't? Well, the pole itself doesn't matter much, does it? I mean, you might as well have used the baguette. It's the principle. Irish. That fishing pole was not his to throw in the ocean. Well, he's an officer, so it kind of is. <laughs> oh, would you listen to that? Oh, I'm a genius! Woo! For the boys working the pumps, we got maybe 40 minutes at 10% power. Make it last. We have less than 24 hours until the fleet arrives. We'll try, sir. No sign of the enemy. Gotta hand it to you, sir. I thought we were goners. That idea of yours? Kind of sounded one heck of a pickle. Well, we're not out of the woods yet. Captain, I have an update on the engine. All right, give it to me straight, Doc. Clev says we can't do better than a quarter power until we get more parts. What about fuel? Do we have what we need to get back to Sicily? We probably have enough to get halfway to Palermo. We need to have a talk. That was quite a melee. The crowds hit us with everything they had, and you boys performed brilliantly. Yeah. You know, I've been eager to get back to Salerno to take out those guns, but the engine room bore the brunt of the fighting, and their ship ain't much without her engines. Now, the boys down below have done one hell of a job, but the truth is, we're down 75%. And we only have enough fuel to get us about halfway back to base. The way I see it, there's no choice but to abort the mission. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Hey, lock it down, oh, sailors. If we try to reach shore under these conditions, there is no going back. I mean, once we're on shore, we own it, or we lose it. There's no middle ground. 
And if we're lucky enough to survive until morning, and I say if, there's no guarantee we'll have enough fuel to escape for the fighters or destroyers they send after us. Are you with me? What difference does it make if we can't make it back to Palermo? We have enough fuel to steer clear of the beach. We'll radio for a tender. I'm not crazy about it. Yeah, I didn't get shot just so I could go back to Sicily without seeing Salerno. Trying to reach the beach without enough fuel is a suicide mission. Always want to go to Italy. I hear it's lovely. I can't ask any more of you fellas than you've already given. Skipper, I remember watching that PT getting hit the way they did, and I've been sick about it ever since. Everything we've done all night has been to get back at the Germans. And we're so close now, it'd be a crime to have to head back. Yeah. It ain't just Moose. I've been feeling the same way. Skip, we had Commander Bars on the radio. Dismiss, men. We can't just... This is too important to... Do you mind? Not everyone's a coward like Marka here. Oh, you got some real nerve, you know that? Oh, you know what, boss? Didn't you shut your mouth? Oh, oh, come on, buddy. Oh, oh, yeah, what do you think? Oh, what do you think? Oh, what do you think? Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. Lieutenant Snow, we're calling off your mission. Commander Barnes, get him up and go. Commander Barnes, Commander Barnes, over. Come on. Damn it, hello? Bill, are you there? Commander Barnes. Uh -oh. Commander Barnes, over. No. Ford Texas radio. Listen to me, if you can hear me. The two PTs that were carrying commandos for the assault were damaged by Nazi fighters and had to turn back. If you reach that beach, you are going to be sitting ducks for those 88s. Do you copy? Snow! You need to pull back. Hello? Give me that. Snow, you need to get the hell out of there right now. You understand? Lieutenant, can you hear me? Lieutenant, you need to pull back immediately. Do you read? He better not blow that. You understand? There's 10,000 lives at risk. Yes, General. Keep trying. You better get these goddamn comms working one way or the other. You hear me? Yes, sir. Well, men, sounds like this is the end of the line for us. You heard the man's orders. I didn't hear a thing. We had some kind of radio malfunction, Mr. Snow. I didn't hear nothing, did you fellas? I didn't hear nothing. Irish? I tried to fix it, but you know me, all thumbs. The last long wave attack must have knocked out the radio. It's been dead ever since. Don't look at me. My hearing shot from all those death charges. All right, men. Prepare for deployment. We're about to invade Italy. Let's <laughs> go. Get out of here. Our mission, gentlemen, is to take out two German 88 millimeter guns, and the location is right here. About 50 yards south is another German encampment comprising of about 40 men. Then to the north of that is an encampment much smaller here between five and ten men. If we reveal our position, we have enough firepower to blow us sky high. That's why we plan to land here, keeping the Evans safe from harm. Now from here, you'll work your way down to the guns. Stealth is of utmost importance as you approach the encampment north of the 88s. You'll need to take out the first gun. Then, what's most important, is these men south of it in this foxhole. After killing these men as quietly and quickly as possible, you can then proceed to destroy the last gun before returning to the ship for cake and soda. Any questions? No, sir. On behalf of the men, I'd say that's the craziest plan I've ever heard. He's right. <laughs> Let's go win a war.
We want this short and sweet, got it? We're here to take out those 88s, and we only got 45 minutes to do it. So we want as little interaction with the enemy as possible. The last thing I want to see is an entire unit of Germans. Are you with me? Ready and willing, sir. Good. Now, here's some cold, hard facts. If I hear sustained fire coming from the beach, I have no choice but to withdraw. Do you understand? You got it, sir. This girl can't withstand one more hit, and I can't risk the rest of the fellas. Remember, you've got thousands of American and British troops on their way. So if you're getting in any trouble, boys, fight like hell. Help come. All right? I skip. Let's go fight a war. Hey, Marco. Sir. Brew a pot of coffee. We're going to need it when we get back. Yes, sir. With cream. Lower the boat! Got it shore now. Make sure they're still asleep. They are, sailor. They stay frosty. It's awfully quiet out there. All right, guys, get ready to disembark. You keep your head down, you stay low. <laughs> Bruce and Snyder are gonna take that north tower, you're gonna pass your satchels. Bauer and I are gonna take the south. If you need back here, keep your head down low. Go! I'm scared. General, with our comms down and knowing Lieutenant Snow, I have to assume he and his crew are proceeding with the original plan. If the Lawton B. Evans is detected, it could compromise the entire mission. Not if we take out those guns. What are you talking with about? With those 88s out of the way, you can still establish that Salerno beachhead is planned. Barnes, I've got to get 10,000 Allied forces onto this beachhead. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Huh? And you think I want to gamble it with some cowboys on a cargo ship who think they could pull off some commando raid against an elite SS unit? Is that what you think? 10,000 men at risk. You think they could pull that off? Yes, sir. I'm calling off the invasion. General, please. You gotta trust me on this. Listen to me. Snow and I go way back. He is a hell of a skipper, and if these boys say they can get it done, then by God, they'll get it done. We're not out of this, sir. Get me General Donahue. Snow and his men don't take those guns out, it's gonna be your ass. Germans never know what hit him, sir. Italianisch is Essen is schlecht for my magen. Ach Quatsch, du gehst einfach in die falschen Läden. Ich kann in Frankfurt ein besseres Frisur bekommen. Das glaube ich nicht. Die Fleischklaps sind auf jeden Fall besser hier. <lacht> Frauen auch. Ja, voll Idioten. Weine super. <lacht> Scheiße, der Klaus. Egal. Ja, ja. Ich geh mal pissen. Ich ja, halte die Stellung hier, okay? Ja, klar. Oh, Scheiße, der Klaus. Was hast du? Geht's noch?
ですよね。<笑>
Fellas, leave no stone unturned, no Nazi unshot. Get moose up, let's get out of here. Take it from shore. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Ready to get your ass beat another game of chess? Yeah. I might need a little breather before this. I'll be to here and square. No, it didn't count last time. It's a rematch. On the hand port side. Let's go! Let's go! Welcome back. Good job. Let's go. Move, uh. move, uh. you all right? Oh, I did that. Okay, come on, come on. Got that gun. Hold on, Joe. Are you ready to get back in a fight? Can they kill Nazi? I hope so. Where are our signs, sir? Man, the 20 millimeter. The 20M? About to kill some of them. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh, Just give me something to shoot at! Skip says to lay down fire at the coastline. There we are. Man down! Man down! Get the back kid! In your position, Seaman. We have to take out that last 88. I'm sorry, sir. My gun trainer, Broner, he's dead. Can you please take the point of position? Copy that, Seaman. Time for some revenge killing. I got you, sir! Yes, sir! Five degrees starboard! Let's kill those Nazi bastards! On target, sir! And... Fire! Fire! Thank you so much, sir. Grobner would have loved that. Grobner. Oh. 
I guess we invaded Italy after all, huh, buddy? You're a hell of a shot, Skip. The way we're listing, we're not going to last 20 minutes. Well, then, let's make it count. Pleasure serving with you, Mr. Ford. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Shot, Irish. Thank you, sir. You ought to be a gunner. Stay calm. Oh, I'm always calm. I have the pressure on the wood. Okay. Hey, hey, get your head on my ass. Stay calm, Cookie. Uh, I just got to stop uh, the bleeding. All right. Tell me the truth. Am I ever going to sit again? Not with this butt. Ah! Uh, I had such a pretty butt, too. Uh, Looks like hamburger uh, now. Chorizo! Uh, Say chorizo, okay. cabrón. Okay, chorizo. Uh, uh, it hurts. Ah! Uh, What's that? Skip, look! It's our boys! Come for the invasion! Woo! Yeah! Woo! That's no excuse, Lieutenant. You were given a direct order to stand down when you attacked those crowd guns. You put American lives at risk. Yes, sir, it's entirely my fault. I take full... Damn right! That was your fault. We didn't have enough gas to make it back to base, sir, so... You chose to engage the enemy in direct violation of my orders. We knew how important the ZDAs were to German defenses, sir. Did you or did you not receive my instructions to steer clear of the enemy until further notice? Uh... Yes and no. Yes or no, Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Now you listen carefully and you listen good because I'm only gonna say this once. Although I'm tempted to court-martial your ass, that was one of the most brilliantly executed commando raids I've ever heard of. And I've been in this game a long, long time. Thank you, sir. Now, if you ever disobey an order of mine again, I'll have your ass in a sling. Having said that, and I can't endorse that behavior, we will now be in Rome in less than a week. Anything we can do to help, sir? I don't know much, Lieutenant. But I do know that the U.S. Navy is gonna need some top-notch commanders if we're gonna beat the Japanese. Yes, sir. You think you can command a heavy cruiser in the Pacific? Okay. Sir. We'll be in touch, Lieutenant. We're doing okay. They're calling the invasion Operation Avalanche. I like that. The doc says they're gonna be sending you home, Moose. What do you think? You mean you'd have to pull your own weight for a change? <laughs> I don't like it any more than you do. The US Fifth Army, working in coordination with the British, who landed a division at Taranto? Throwing the fact that Italy surrendered, and this is big. Very, very big. All right, Moose, see you in the funny papers. Aye, aye, you betcha. Hey, Cookie, wait. Just, you know, in case you get in another scrape. You know me too well, Irish. <laughs> Ford wants to see you in the water room. 
What does that jerk want? Ask him yourself. <laughs> Marcus said you ever you heard of knocking sailor? Sorry, sir. Come in. Marcus said you wanted to see me, sir. Oh. Oh, yeah, uh, run those charts up to the skipper on the bridge for me, would you? Seriously? Yes, seriously. It's all yours, Bauer. Yes, sir, it's... It's beautiful! I knew you were gonna piss me off at some point, but I didn't want you to be without a fishing rod, so, you know. Which doesn't mean we're friends now, does it? Don't get carried away. Get out of here. <laughs> and shut the door! Sorry, sir. <laughs> Thank you again, sir. Oh, my God. I'm gonna miss your philosophy lessons again. I got a little something for you. Just in case you get stuck with a pair of sixes. She all batting down. <laughs> She's not sinking anymore. <laughs> Small victories. How are you holding up? Well, luckily I wasn't killed, only slightly injured. Grover was one hell of a sailor, wasn't he? One of the best. Yeah. Right or wrong, when you captain the ship, you have to make decisions where men's lives hang in the balance. This has to be that way. Yeah, it was no accident those Thunderbolts had their way with the Germans. The enemies had those 88s. That wouldn't happen. That was your doing, Skip. I suppose it was. So you think these actions are going to get you back on a warship where you belong? Well, if it does, would you care to be my second in command? We're miss running of fruits and vegetables up the coast. <laughs> I'd be honored. Let's get this thing up and running. Yes, sir.